To write the Lewis structure for BABr2, that's barium bromide, we write barium, and then we put a bromine on either side. Barium, that's a metal, and then bromine, that's a nonmetal. So we have a metal bonded to nonmetal or nonmetals. We have an ionic compound. That means that the valence electrons are going to be transferred from the metal to the nonmetals. When we look on the periodic table, barium, that has two valence electrons. It's in group two, so just like the other elements there, it has two valence electrons. Bromine is in group 17, sometimes called 7a. It has seven valence electrons. So we said since this is an ionic compound, valence electrons are going to be transferred from the metal to the nonmetals. So barium will have one valence electron come here, and that completes the octet on the bromine. So that's very stable. And the other electron, it comes over here, completes the octet on the bromine. So both bromines have eight valence electrons. The barium, since it lost two electrons, and electrons are negative, it lost two negative charges, it's positive now. It's a two plus charge. Bariums, each one gained one electron, so it has a negative charge, negative one. We should put brackets on our negative ions here. And you'll often see brackets around the positive ion. The reason we put the brackets here is to show that that electron, those two electrons that barium transferred to the bromines, those were lost by the barium and gained by the bromines. So there's no sharing going on with those valence electrons like we might find in a covalent compound. This is Dr. V with the Lewis structure for BA, BR2, barium bromide. Thanks for watching.